Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah, the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God Ahaya and the Bible called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew. Yashahelite scattered to the four corners of the earth all over the so-called diaspora. I greet you all in the precious glorious name of our soon coming king of Yashahel, Yesiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the glorious name of our soon coming king who is coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle or blemish. Make sure that um, you're cleaned up. For the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesiah the Christ, hallelujah. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message, all right? I'm going to do some housekeeping now, um, so you can go to the main message, all right? Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann, it is in solid gray border with a little ticky by the side. Anybody in the comment section pretending to be me, it's a dirty, wicked demon. You need to re re rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. I will also do the top 20 at the end of the video. Call out any beautiful beloved name that comes in the top 20 of any video. I'll give you a little shout out. Continue to like the videos. Continue to go in the comment section. Share the videos. Please subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification button. All right. Thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal. It has been my bread and butter and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. We are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one. Lawlessness is coming, brothers and sisters. Please read Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. It tells you that Satan will change times and laws and seasons through the Antichrist. The world will look like Mad Max aka the book of Eli, that type of wicked post-apocalyptic wicked world. Very, very bad. Um, the Bible says that make sure that you, you know pray that you're found worthy to escape the things coming upon the earth. And so therefore, uh, you people believe that Yesiah is going to burst the clouds any minute now and come. And that's not true. Because some of these things are going to happen before a sixth seal opens. And we know what time it is when the sixth seal is open. Yeah. It is a sad and horrible day for many, yeah, but a beautiful day for those of us who love the most high. Glory be, so you have to make sure your anchor holds in Christ, all right? And then pray to be found worthy. Part of it is going into the wilderness. All right. We are. Um, we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near as well. It's a song that my mommy taught me. When I was a little girl, she used to hide sweeties and toys. And when we were near to the stove, she used to sing a song called How Near You Are. Fitting song for these end times. And the song goes like this. How near you are, how near you are, how near you are, how near, how near you are, how near you are, how near you are, how near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with rad confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, remember, I have two ministries. The first ministry is about end time prophetic ministry where I, where I talk about the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, fallen angels, dirty celebrity that's so, that is so very, very wicked, crashing of the economy, tsunami, earthquake, zombies, and all things alike. Second part of my ministry is to the Hebrew Yashahelites, the 12 scattered tribe of Jacob all over the world in 2022. That's my second ministry. All right. So this video is about the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel scattered to the four corners of the earth. All right. So I've been doing a series of prophetic videos concerning Black Moses, a.k.a. Ye, and the good old basketballer Kyrie, a.k.a. Um, Aaron. Now, I don't know which video it is. I need to find it really. But that higher for those brothers and sisters who pay attention to what I'm saying. 
in a couple of the videos that I've done, while I was speaking, the Spirit of the Most I downloaded in my spirit and I released straight away. And while I was talking about, yeah, is Black Moses, is Spirit of Black Moses, and Kyrie Aaron, Spirit of Aaron. I saw a woman in Babylon, U.S. Didn't see her face, but I saw her in the spirit, prophetess of Ohio. Hallelujah. And she's going to be extremely powerful. And she will be working with Black Moses and Aaron very, very closely. So you'll almost have a situation of ancient Hebrew Yeshahelites, where you have ancient Moses and ancient Aaron and ancient Miriam. Mm -hmm. When I released that prophecy concerning the woman that I saw, that is going to operate in the spirit of Maria. I'm telling you, oh my Lord. This is why I'm doing this video for these brothers and sisters. There are about maybe I would say 10 comments, or probably more, underneath the videos. And even more videos when I mention it. And all these comments were saying, Sister Carrie Ann, the woman that you saw, the prophetess that you saw, is this lady in Babylon, U.S. called Candice Owens. Is it Owens? I don't know her. I've heard about her, but I don't know what she does. I don't know. Is she born again? Who does she follow? Is she, I don't know. But I do, uh, I have heard about Candice Owen, Candice, Candice. Let me type her name in. Um, is it Candice, Candice, Candice. Oh, is it Owens or Owens? Let me quickly type her name in, brothers and sisters. All right, so this is the image of the lady. Those of you living in Babylon, US, you'll know who I'm talking, isn't it? Because you know Can Candice, Candice. Candace, C A N D A C E, Candace. Oh, the Candice, it's not this, it's Candace. Candace Owens. So, this is the, this is the woman that <laughs> the brothers and sisters are saying in the comments. So, Sister Carrie Ann, you're talking about Candace Owens. I never call any names. Why is it not coming up? Why is she not coming up? I never call any name because I didn't know. I don't know her face, the most die. Didn't show, look at my iPad, so slow, it's not even working. Um, but the, um, the most I didn't show me a face. All right, so this is her, all right. Ahaya never really showed me a face. All right, so this is her, you probably, everybody knows this, this girl. Candace, that's what they said, this is the, pro well, no, saying she's because I don't know her. All right, so this is the good old can die Candace Owens. So, brothers and sisters in the comment section, Sister Carrie, and you're talking about Candace Owens that is going to work with Black Moses and Aaron. Why am I doing this video? I have to do it, isn't it? Because when you get more than one comment in a comment section, like I say, I haven't seen her face, but I definitely know that there's a woman that's going to work. It's going to be a situation like ancient Hebrew Yashahel. But for the brothers and sisters to pick up straight away, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. And it's more than one. It's not just one person that said, oh, Sister Karen, is Candace Owens. I think if it was one person that mentioned the name, uh, it wouldn't draw me attention. But as I was going through the comments, it, it was just coming in. Brothers and sisters were saying, it's Candace Owens. Can and, and I'm thinking, what's going on? Why are they saying Candace Owens? Because I never, I never called her name. I said I never seen, a, I didn't see her face. I just saw somebody, but didn't see her face. A very pow very powerful. Very articulate woman working with them. She's not, she's very, 
she's fearless what I saw in my spirit very she just speak as it is you either take it or leave it that type of situation so I, I don't know why brothers and sisters are saying Candace who is she what does she do I don't know I would have to read up on her I'm gonna have to read up on her because I saw a prophetess in the spirit, I don't know. Is she a prophet? Is she what is she? What does she do? So we'll have to read upon Candace Owens and see and 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 go to the Lord in prayer and ask most that is this the woman that you showed me that is going to work with Black Moses, aka Ye, Aaron, aka Kyrie, and here you have. Miriam, aka, is it Candice? Can Candice? Yeah, Candice. Is it Candice? Sorry if I'm getting her name wrong. I don't know. Candice, Candice. Or can I'm used to calling people Candice. It's not D. It's Candice. All right. Um, who is she really? Don't know. What does she do? She so I'm reading a little bit of Wikipedia. It says she does a she books, so she probably write books, books back out how black American can make its second escape from the <coughs> Democrat Democrat plantation. How can how sorry how black America can make its second Escape. Wow. Second escape. Second exodus. Mm. All right, Father. This is a book. I think she's written this book. I'm not sure. But beside her name, it just says book. And it says how black America can make its second escape. Change the word escape and put exodus. Second Exodus from the Democrat plantation. Powerful, isn't it? But anyways, good old Candice. I'm gonna call her Candice. I'm sorry for pronouncing the word wrong or name wrong. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. It says part political party Republican. Alright. So she's a Republican. What does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea. Republican. I know about the Democrats and the Repub Republicans, so she associate with the Republican Party. All right, Candice, what else can I say about you, girl? I don't know. I have no idea who you are. But anyways, brothers and sisters are saying that the woman is Candice Owens, spirit of Miriam. Because Miriam was bold. <laughs> Good old Miriam was bold, isn't it? That's why she had the leprosy. Because she got herself in bother with Moses. She didn't really like the wife. <laughs> she was too bold. Very bold is Miriam. But Miriam, Miriam was a prophetess of a higher. So, that, like I say, for those of you who are watching this video, like I say, I didn't see the face. And the only reason why I'm doing this video is because of the comments. It's, it's over 10 comments. It drew, it drew my attention. So I had to make the video. And, I, and the funny thing about it is that why, before I made the video, I didn't read upon the woman. I didn't nothing at all. I just jumped on it because I've write, written down videos I'm going to make. So I just quickly jump on here. And um, and let me and let me just quickly come and draw draw attention. Um, oh wow! Can I just read this? I don't know what's coming up here. I'm on me. I'm on YouTube, not YouTube. Sorry, I'm on Google. But this thing come up, isn't it? Twitter business, I think. All right, let's quick, let me just quickly read what she says here. This is about Aaron. I think it's her. All right, there's a blue tick by her name. 
Um, this is about Aaron. So she says, Kyrie Irving, a.k.a. Aaron, should not give a single red set. Oh, oh, Candace, girl. Oh, what? So this is her Twitter. Let me just show you because I'm on Google. I'm literally on Google because I've typed her name in. So those of you, see, I'm literally on Google literally on google but when you scroll down i don't know i'm just scrolling down isn't it because i'm talking as i'm doing this video because i don't know nothing about the girl oh so her twitter business come up i want to show it to you all right so here you go this is it isn't it twitter that's her somebody can verify it because people can so that's her twitter with the blue tick so this is so this is in the last 20 22 hours oh lord so she's written, oh gosh, yes, Lord. She's written about Aaron, a.k.a. Kai. All right, we'll call him Kai because of censorship. So Candace have written Aaron, a.k.a. Kai, but she calls his real name, should not give a single red cent to the ADL. This is dropping. I think that this may be the prophetess that I saw. Because it's already there, brothers and sisters. She's on Kyrie's. She's on Aaron's side. My to God of creation. As I'm going through this stuff. Yes, I did not see her face. But I'm going to have to check it out in my spirit. Properly. And I pray that I, Lord, while I'm doing this video. Father, while I'm doing this video, please, is Candace Owen, the prophetess that I saw working with Black, Moses, and Aaron? Is she coming in the spirit of Miriam? Is it her, Father? Is it her? Is this the woman that I saw in the spirit? Is it her father? Is she the prophetess? Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to the most high. So, I'll, while I'm thinking about it, I'm not receiving an answer yet, but the Lord knows I've asked him, so I'm sure he'll come back to me. If I get an answer, I will tell you at the end of the video, all right? Or during while I'm talking. So, Candace says that Aaron must not gave a red cent because I did a video yesterday that the wicked Chaldeans, the Zionists, all right, the Chaldeans, they have stipulated that Aaron should be paid, should give the Chaldean community 500,000 Babylonian dollars for saying whatever, for posting whatever, <laughs> very wicked people. And now Candace is saying, don't do it. She's speaking on his behalf. Don't do it. Let's continue to read. Like the BLM, <coughs> we all know what that one is. They are part and parcel of humiliation ritual. Demanding donation for social forgiveness. Yes, Lord. Mm. Father God of creation. I believe, I don't know much about her, but I'm getting closer because sometimes the most I don't drop things on me all at once. But looking at her picture and I'm weighing her up in my spirit, Candice, looking at her photographs as, as, photograph as I'm weighing her up in my spirit. She's a Republican. Republicans, I don't know, are they, most of them associate themselves with Christianity, isn't it? So she's a, she's a born, I don't know, I don't want to say she's a born again, because I don't know, really and truly. But it's possible that the person that I saw could be her. When I get more confirmation, I will come back and I will definitely say 
that this is the prophetess that's going to work. But it's very interesting, really, that that she's put up that tweet in the last 22 hours. Telling Irving, don't you dare give any money. So basically, if she's saying don't give a red cent. And I've deleted them. And did. <clears throat> if she's saying don't give a red penny to the ADL. She's basically saying that don't apologize. Don't go to no training. Don't go to no anti-Semitic, um, whatever, whatever. Don't do it. I hope, I don't hope, I know Black, um, Aaron will be okay. Them three, make them, them three, put them in your priors. Put them in your priors. All right. But I feel led to do this video. Like I say, once she comes fully in my spirit, I don't want to, I think, I think for me, I don't want to say. Her spirit is strong. She's got a very, very strong spirit. What I'm picking up in my spirit. Her spirit is fire. And her support for black Moses and Aaron is going to be very, very vital. Very, very, very vital. I saw, I saw them having a Yashahelite council, the council of Yashahelite in Babylon, US. So I'm not ruling it out. Candice Owen could be, could possibly be the prophetess that I saw, hallelujah, working with Black Moses and Aaron. It could be her. So I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling just because we prophesy in part or we know in part. So there must be a reason why the brothers and sisters in the comment section were filling up the comments and saying to the person that you saw is Candice Owens. There must be a reason. Like I say, if it was one comment that said, Sister Karen, the woman that you saw is Candice, and it was just one single comment, I would probably just, oh, all right. But as I were going down, a lot of brothers and sisters, over 10, and when you have comments like that saying the same thing, you have to pay attention. So just because I didn't know about her, I didn't know nothing about her. That's why we prophesying, we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So in part, I saw the woman, a powerful prophetess, working with them, but I didn't see her face. So that, that's knowing in part. But the completion is with the brothers and sisters in the comment section. That is why we are a family, because we do the completion. And if the most star is saying to some brothers and sisters, look, Candace Owen is the prophetess that Sister Karen saw, who am I to come up here and say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see any face. So it's not her. I can't do that, because we prophesy in part and we know in part. So maybe the brothers and sisters in Babylon, U.S., who know her more than me, complete the picture of Aaron Black Moses Aaron and Miriam which is Candice Owen and I'm going to leave it there I'm going to leave it there all right yes so she's going to do some good good work is that woman very very good work so Black Moses Aaron and Candice you need to put them in your prayer, them three. Because they're going to be powerful for all the African Americans. And like I say, why is the most star raising up a Ye, aka Black Moses, K, Kai, aka Aaron, and now you have the spirit of Miriam, Candace. Why? And I've told you already, it is nothing more than the second Exodus. That's all it is. Because we leave in Babylon and nobody can stop it. It's, it's just the truth. But in order for us to, to, to leave Babylon, we have to wake up. Because we have to wake up and once we realize that we are the people of the book, 
then we begin to cry out to the most high and say hang on father we know who we are we are the true hebrew yeshaelites of the book of the bible where is the second exodus so when you begin to cry out to the most high that's what happened in ancient time when the hebrew yeshaelites were in trouble they cried out to the most high and i heard them and delivered them but there's no crying out going on rather than a few of us who are awake so the whole of Yeshua needs to be awake. Once they come into the truth and they realize that they are the biblical Hebrew, they're the biblical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and it's not the Chaldeans, the European Chaldeans down there in the so-called Yeshua It's not them, all right? So once our people wake up, when we begin to cry out to the most and say, Father, you promised that you're going to take us back home. You promised that you're going to regather the remnant a second time. Where is it? So when that cry up, when that cry because of Black Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, a.k.a. Candice, oh no, all right, um, begin to wake up the community, it's going to be phenomenal. That's when the second exodus is going to happen. Because the cry is going to go up to the most high. So that's their purpose. It's nothing more. It's not to... It's not to wake up people, the, especially the African-Americans, and say, oh, listen, yeah, you are the people of the book. You're the descendants of Abraham. That's it. No, it's all to do with the second exodus. That is what it is. And they will be talking about the second exodus. When they begin to talk about the second exodus, you will understand the time that we're in. I know that we're near. But Ahaya is... Um, is orchestrating their speech so he will know when to let them talk about the second exodus he will but when you when you hear them mention when you hear black moses aaron and miriam candice when you hear any one of those three people when they mention out of their mouth african-americans will believe in Babylon US it's over that's it it's done so that is the cue that's what you're waiting for this is it's it's, it's 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 a done deal second exodus is literally at the door because that by that time Barack Obama will be coming in to take power and all of that it's all fulfilling all fulfilling brothers and sisters so it's, it's exciting time because i'm not even gonna lie brothers and sisters i'm not even gonna lie i want to leave i want to leave babylon i want to leave ba listen i don't fit in babylon i want to leave so bad that the lord is saying <laughs> calm down it's coming be patient I don't think people understand. The Bible says in Makai, M-A-M-I-C-A, Makai. I think it's Makai chapter 2. What's it chapter 2? Makai chapter 2. Or chapter 4. can't remember. But the Bible says like Bozra. Like sheep in Bozra. The Hebrew Yeshaelites, when we're regathered together. When all of us are regathered together. Mighty Father. The noise. The noise and the joy that we are going to make is going to be phenomenal. Bible tells you, Maka, that's the second exodus. When we all read together together as one people. The, the, the joy, it's mm, powerful. Second exodus is real. I know that I know that the, 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 the pastors don't teach about it. I know they don't. And this is one of the channel that really, really talks about the second exodus, like I do, from 2019 when the most I awoke in me. And I almost, I almost was disobedient to the most I, where the second exodus is concerned, almost disobedient. Because when I begin, I started off by beginning to talk about where I'm from, that I'm from the tribe of Judah. That was the first time I... The awakening in 2019 came to me. And then I share a couple of videos where I saw in a vision 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I might share that video later on, actually. Abraham, Isaac. The Lord showed me what they looked like and where they were standing. And it was difficult because when I, this was 2019, when I began to share this stuff, and I would remember I was just coming in into the awakening. I didn't fully understand what was going on, but I had to share according to the spirit of a higher. And when I began to share, and certain brothers and sisters, they unsubscribe from the channel because they said that I was causing division and I got scared I did I got scared and I I remember went to the Lord and said father I don't want to talk about he, he, um Hebrew or uh, second exodus and all of that because then you have the second exodus and people are saying no it's a rapture and when I, you know, because I didn't understand fully concerning the sick seal. So now I can confidently say that the, the second exodus is before the sixth seal. That don't happen yet. Second exodus first, then the sixth seal. So while we're in the wilderness, a.k.a. Um, wherever the most I put us, you know, we will see the, the events of the sixth seal. And I will, yeah, yeah, I got a little bit scared really. but i'm not me scared now you must be joking i wish devil which devil can come in the comment section and tell me to shut up about hebrew yashahelites or stop talking about which one of them no devil can do it because i'm, I'm way past this timid 2019 talking about now i talk about it that's why i said two ministries i it's a pleasure to talk about the second exodus and what's going to happen to our people. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Ahaya is amazing. Ahaya is amazing. All right. Um, let me just quickly say this because I know brothers and sisters are watching and saying, oh, he said only the Hebrew Yashahelites. No, um, the women of Revelation 12 represent the church, but also it, it represents the 12 stars. The 12 stars around the woman head is the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. So, we will have non-Hebrew Yeshahelites coming on the ships as long as, you know, they know what time it is and they believe. Powerful stuff. All right. Okay. So if I come to the end of the video, hallelujah, glory be to the most high. These are the top 20 underneath the powerful, powerful video. Hallelujah. What time is it? Oh, look at the time, Father God of creation. I don't know. Full-time job is this, you know, it takes up so many time, but I enjoy doing my videos all right so these are these are the top 20 beautiful beloved and powerful video that i did concerning the three celebrities that the wicked wants to kill three celebs three celebs are targeted isn't it we've done take off which is dead aaron carter which is dead and now spice the jamaican dancehall artist which is which her life is hanging in the balance let me just quickly let me just quickly mention this i know the time is going i know i know i know time is going but let, let me quickly mention this um no i'm not going to mention it you know why because i don't want it to interfere with the message that i've given i'll mention it some other time all right <laughs> i don't want it to interfere all right so these are the top 20 beautiful beloved on the powerful video three celebrities um that the enemy once well it is taking out two so now we have spice life hanging in the balance all right km oh sorry brothers and sisters i'm so sorry km blue lily all right blue lily laura noble julie mayberry uh natasha chambers bruce bees GR, Pahida Todd, Ode Wheeler, Kevin Allen, Marquetta Reed, Kane Sua, Grizel Isra, Mary Christiansen, Jan Natural 74, Stacy B, Marlisha Coolsbell, Idaho. Do oh oh yeah oh 
Ya Cyrilu. All right. <laughs> Blessed Ash. Solly H. Audrey Vila. Stacy and Small. Shanna Fisher. And Nicole Wright. Top 20 beautiful beloved and a powerful video concerning the death of three celebs. All right. We are near, um, sorry, let's say the sinner's prayer together. The sinner's prayer is, um, dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahiah, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins, Yesiah. I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahiah has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahiah. Yesiah, King of Glory, I come before you right now, and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways. Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, I believe in your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You've done the repenting part. You now need to find a man of the most high, Ahaya, and... Um, and get him to baptize you fully dunk in water. When you go down in water, you're saying that Yesiah died on the cross. You believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most high raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life. You're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahia, just like Enoch. All oh, praises, all oh, beautiful praises to the most high Ahia, who lives above the heavens. Ahia, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesiah's only name, amen, amen. Let's say the benediction. Benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.